Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I thought maybe... Why was... I'm sorry? You... Well... Really? Oh, this... I... Ah. What did you do after that? Well... Um... That's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? No, but I... Hmm. Um, what? There was... Did you... No. That's weird. It sure looks like someone poked around. Oh well. What did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? Well... Oh, yes. Actually... Have you encountered... No, Mr. Cr hmm. But... Mr. Cr Re uh, hmm. I'll do... Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? I don't really... She just... You wouldn't be trying to protect... No. Hmm. We've learned... What can you tell me? I don't know, only that... Does he? Hmm. It's very... odd. Both Mr. Spade and Mrs. Cruz are prime suspects in this case, and yet, we have very little evidence on either of them. It's almost as if someone has cleaned up after them. I really hope I'm wrong, though. Because if I'm right, that would be obstruction of justice, and the people, or person, responsible could face very serious consequences. But hey, I guess we'll know soon enough. be a while before the hotel reopens. They are not mincing their words when it comes to Bernard and his management. This doesn't look good for the hotel. Go to hell. Beth. Hey. Are you okay? I'm out of a job. But other than that, yeah, everything's just peachy. What? No, I... I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be... questioning my life choices on the mezzanine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come in. So. I would... Well, uh, as you may be aware, the hotel's reputation has taken a solid hit. We've been mocked and ridiculed by the papers. It's... It's truly humiliating. And that's not even the worst of it. With a story like this... Guests may not flood through our doors again for a very long time. If ever. 
I may have no choice but to sell the hotel. Just years of arduous work gone down the drain. <sighs> anyway, it's clear now that we're going to have to tighten our belts for at least a couple of months. Which means cutting off dead weight. I suppose I'm the dead weight. Yes. You've been quite the disappointment. Unclean rooms, several complaints. I may have been too busy to know. You're fired. What? You can't... <laughs> Just make sure to... Em That'll be all. Hey. Hey. What a week. <laughs> yeah. So, what did Bernard want with you? Well, you. I quit. I appreciate I think to. Oh, no. Well, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but no. Believe it or not. But no. I'm. Me. I've. I felt how I. Well, it's what I. It. What's he doing here again? Let's not make a scene, all right? A scene? What the hell's going on? Beth, it's okay. I warned you where obstruction of justice would get you, Miss Roy. So here we are. You're under arrest. What? Th this is bullshit. You can't do this. Sophie, we'll get you a lawyer. It'll be okay. 